All right, welcome to the hobby section of my parents' garage. There's a uh, snowboard, RC plane, some light bars, golf clubs, but an overwhelming presence of high-powered rockets. And I decided, since I'm now level three certified, I might as well make a bigger mess out here. So, um, the Wildman Punisher has become probably one of my favorite, ah! The Wildman Punisher has become one of my favorite rocket designs just because it's so simplistic. I love the head end dual deployment. It makes it super easy. This, you can fly from, you know, a big H all the way up to an L1000 and you could take the nose gun off this and throw it in pretty much anything you can imagine. Same thing goes with the four inch Punisher. Again, great. It's under under five feet, I think. No, it's maybe a little bit more than five feet. Again, pull the nose pin off. I drive a tiny little Ford Fiesta hatchback. You guys saw it in the Airfest videos. I had this in there. I had this in there. No problem. They're pretty much indestructible. Um, mine suffered a little bit of a hit from the nose cone after I flew that skid mark, skid mark, that uh, dark matter L1040. It was good and actually my buddy Taylor who was there with me, he was in the videos a little bit, he flew his on an M1297 to 17,000 and change, separated, had no drogue and then never fired the main. So it just fell out of the sky from 17,000 feet and it had less damage than mine. They're pretty stout rocks, but what you can't do with any of these punishers is fly an end motor. So, being that I'm now level three certified, Taylor and I asked, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Tim the Wild Man Lair, if he could make us 5 inch Punishers with 98 millimeter motor mounts. And he did. So, this is, it's so much bigger that like I knew we were, like we need 60 inch airframes, head end dual deployment, just bigger Punishers because the Punisher 3 has a 3 foot tube, the Punisher 4 has a 4 foot tube, the Punisher 5 needed a 5 foot tube. You guys know what the Punisher 6 is going to need, but I can't afford that now, especially because of the other part of this order. You know, maybe we'll get there at some point. Let's do a Punisher 12. That's what we need. A 12 foot airframe. All right. So I come on, I want to take the nose cone out. Take a look. I haven't opened this up yet all the way. I just kind of took a little bit of a peek. So here are the fins. They are. 3 16 inch G10 fiberglass and I love love the Punisher fin style I actually was building a minimum diameter when I was younger and thought I wanted to build a minimum diameter rocket and the fin design is really similar I love just the swept simple look easy just stable enough for long motors yada yada they're not super heavy these are actually here feel this bro that's actually pretty light uh, oh, are these milled? yeah that's pretty sick. Well, I don't know if they're milled. I know Tim has a mill, but I don't know how he bevels them. Simple design, like I said, drop it from 17,000 feet. Easy, easy to fit in a car. Nothing sharp, nothing pointy, no big iris with barn doors instead of fins, you know, things like that. Ooh, goblins. I love goblins. And Red Maxes, you guys know I love Red Maxes. But there's something really simple about uh, there's something really gratifying about a nice, simple, just swept 3FNC. All right, here we go. Fiberglass for the uh, electronic bay end plates, which is fine by me. I like the aluminum ones a lot, but uh, that means I don't have to go to the drill press. I can just use regular drill bits. Cool. I'll probably make it so that I can fit the same sled because I made this adjustable or put these on the same width for the... Uh, all threads so you can fly the sled in either one. Probably do that just so all the Punishers share the same electronics base sled. Just slide it in and out. Aluminum nose cone tip as you do with filament wound G12 nose cones, which is probably going to be what we pull out next. Look at that. Ah, here's my favorite part. Mm. There we go. 98 millimeter. That's four inch motor tube. Hmm. Did Tim send me a coupler is the question. Yes. All right. Sorry if you're watching this, Tim. You forgot a couple with my four inch one. So now I'm a little gun shy. I should note that he sent me one though. 
All right, there you go. Five inch nose cone. Ooh. It doesn't want to go in. There we go. In she goes. And that is a five inch Wildman Punisher, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's see if I get the nose tip out. I have, come on. I've wanted a 98 or a five inch rocket with a 98 millimeter mount for a long time. Um, I was looking at the Competitor 5 a number of years ago and the Intimidator 5. But like I said, I really fell in love with the Punisher design. And even this for a rocket that you could put an end motor in if you wanted to is uh, pretty uh, reasonable for transportation. I mean, you look at something like the olden days of high power rocketry, if you will. Um, some of you guys may remember that I flew this upper section for my level three on top of my four inch Punisher fin can. This has a 54 millimeter mount. So at best you get an L out of it and you have eight feet of rocket to transport around. Whereas now, you can do you can do up to n impulse uh, in something this size, which I guess I mean minimum diameter has been around for a long time, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? A good sport flyer, um, I can fly it on anything really. I've got this K1100 loaded right here that was supposed to go in my three-inch Punisher. It would safely lift that. I don't know exactly how much it's going to weigh, but probably in the 15 to 17 pound range when it's uh, all said and done. Really, you could fly like an I-600 if you wanted. You could fly this rocket I through N impulse, maybe even O if you can get a CTI 6XL in there. Um, you might start running into rockets coming apart issues at that level, but we won't really ever know because I can't afford to fly those motors. However, if you've ever installed an aero pack, you know a 98 millimeter aero pack retainer is flanged only. You don't get the glue on ones. So you have to bolt it on and it makes it kind of a pain to, uh, I forgot that was on there. So it can be a bit of a pain to get everything lined up properly if you don't have the right size motor case. So say I buy a rocket with a 98 millimeter mount and I want to put a 98 millimeter aero pack on it, but all I have is 75 millimeter hardware then I run a 75 to 98 aero pack adapter and use the adapter to line the aero pack retainer up which is actually what happened can you see this in that frame yeah this uh six inch dark star we didn't have any hardware luckily tim was having a sale on these uh aero pack alignment tools for Airfest, so i figured i would help myself to one of them this is an Aerotech. God, it's so big. It's a 98 15 360 motor case. Um, I didn't see a uh, seal disc in there. I don't know if it was supposed to come with one. It's the motor set. I don't know if they come with a seal disc or not. I'll look into that. If they do, I'll give Tim a ring. But uh, yeah, so there it is. Now I've got an end motor case and an end motor capable rocket, well, I have some. And actually the original, the intent behind this purchase is to finally fly, you can see this too, right? Mm -hmm. My seven and a half inch, all fiberglass, 66% scale iris. Um, I intend to fly the Aerotech N2220 Dark Matter at LDRS last year, last year? At LDRS next year at the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah. Um, the five inch Punisher on an Aerotech N1000 is kind of like now a pipe dream of mine. So we'll, uh, we'll see if you guys want to help that come true, check out rocketvlogs.com. <laughs> We're going to have to sell like 300 t-shirts and maybe we can swing that. But, uh, for now, I think the budget is really only going to allow at most one end motor a year. So. This case isn't going to get used a whole lot, but I do actually plan on using it for things other than lining up aeropack retainers. We will 
as long as all things go planned, be flying an Aerotech N2220 Dark Matter in my 12 foot tall, 7.5 inch diameter Atlantic Research Corporation Iris. Um, so, we'll be doing a build series on the 5 inch Punisher. We'll probably get started on it here pretty soon. Um, usually, the Punisher stuff goes together pretty quick for me. It's nothing outlandish or anything I don't know how to do. It's a kit, it's a wild man kit, it's fiberglass, it's easy, it goes together, super nice. Built this one in like two days or something like that. So uh yeah, we should be getting started on that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think I should paint it. I do like the paint scheme I've kept up with my other punishers, but we can pick a different color, do whatever we want to do. Um don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Leave a like for me. The more likes we get the more this content gets shared around and this channel is monetized now so if you like to support the uh, financial exploits of flying big high power rockets and going to launches and filming all these launches and stuff um, an easy and free way to help me out is to share the link just post it on your Facebook post it on reddit post it wherever and uh, the more people see it the more people click on ads the more money I make and the more we can do so Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next Rocket Vlogs episode.